Bunny and today's video is a shoe unboxing uh, but with a little bit of a magical twist. Sippy sippy and then we'll get started. I used to do these videos where I did real versus fake makeup. Do you remember that? So since I started looking at a bunch of like fake makeup on AliExpress, Wish, etc, etc, I started seeing not just fakes and dupes for makeup products, but also clothing, shoes, even stationary products like pens and pencils and stuff, which that's always kind of the weirdest territory to me is when there's knockoffs of items that are relatively inexpensive anyway. Today, we're going to be looking at at a real pair of Demonia shoes next to a fake pair of Demonia shoes. And I thought it would be fun for me to go ahead and try on both pairs so that there's a little magic, a little mystery, and see if you guys can immediately tell the real ones versus the fake ones. Right now at the point where I'm filming this, I've only cut open the box of the fake ones because I actually thought that the this was something else and you guys I think that this item is lost in the mail now. I bought the most ridiculous belt in the world for my fashion TikToks that you guys know I love to make where it's just like putting on a series of the most campy ridiculous bits of clothing that I own all at once and I bought a belt covered in bananas. So I thought that this was gonna be my banana belt uh, but it was not. It was um it was a pair of fake fake demonias instead. Here we are modeling them. One side is real, one side is fake. Can you guys tell? Basically I was trying to say I don't know yet. Like is it gonna be immediately easy to spot the difference between the real one and the fake one? Or is it actually gonna be like the makeup sometimes where honestly Sometimes it confuses even me which one is the real one and which one is the fake one because they are so identical. Three, two, one. This one's real, this one's fake. You guys now know in the world of editing before I know now in the world of filming how easy they are to tell apart. Hey guys. Time for a good old thrift haul slash a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Thread Up. So before I show you guys this amazing haul that I got from Thread Up, be sure and pull out a pen and a piece of paper because you're gonna wanna write down the code graveyard. Graveyard is gonna save you 30% off of your first order at Thread Up. So be sure and check the link in the info box down below, especially if you're like me and you absolutely love thrifting because that's what I say all the time. One of my favorite things about shopping on ThreadUp is it truly is an online thrift store. I feel like a lot of times you'll hear like online thrift store about different websites, but when you actually get to those websites, sometimes it can be disappointing because you don't really see thrift store pricing. But that is not the case with ThreadUp, you guys. There are so many items that are literally like $5, like several of the $5 items I have here today. They also have sales, coupon codes, price drops, all the time. It's so easy to search by several different parameters on ThreadUp's website. You can shop by brand, then you can break it down and shop by style, and then you can search even deeper within that brand. This is honestly probably my favorite search feature because I am big on like fabrics and textures that things are made out of. So you can go down and select to just see the items that are made out of like cotton or leather or whatever you like to wear. And you can even shop by color if you are somebody that likes a kind of monochromatic fashion palette. So I thought today's video was a perfect place to talk about thread up because in today's video we are looking at a kind of like lower quality fast fashion pair of shoes compared to a higher quality, more expensive pair of shoes, but one that I still feel like I'm gonna be able to wear much, much more. And I think that that's kind of something that uh, people think about a lot these days is like, how can they be more sustainable, but in an affordable way? And how can they dress trendy if you care about what trends are, but in a more affordable way? And once again, I think ThreadUp is a great 
huge option for that because you can truly find brands that you love and high quality pieces, but still at what seems like fast fashion prices. I am wearing a complete look from Thread Up today. Actually, you guys, I have to show y'all the sunglasses again first because in my last Thread Up haul, I got an amazing pair of Mew Mew sunglasses and I swear I have been wearing those every single day. Those were like my sunglasses for spring. I got an incredible deal on them and I did it again for today's thrift haul. So I've never owned anything from Jimmy Choo before now in my life but look at these sunglasses thread up is an amazing place to get high quality designer sunglasses i'm not somebody where i'm like oh they have to be like designer sunglasses but i will say um just out of my collection of sunglasses sometimes the designer ones they hold up more especially when i'm just throwing them in my car or in my purse or whatever. So it's great to be able to get like a high quality item like this second hand. The estimated retail of these sunglasses was $285, but I got them on ThreadUp for $78, which is just huge savings. I hope you guys are gonna be able to see. They are sparkly. You guys know how much I love glitter that is entrapped in plastic. The other thing that I am wearing around my shoulders has got to be one of my favorite things that I've ever found on ThreadUp. I love the wild fox. My heart still yearns for these classic, like kind of funky wild fox sweatshirts. Oh my God. I have to be honest. I didn't even know that this one existed back in the day. I have a couple wild box sweaters, sweatshirts, I don't quite know what to call this, that are like sequin. They look like skeleton bones and stuff. Um, so when did this fishbone one come out? I don't know. This is actually from the fancier wild fox label. Look at this. Dogman and I walk a lot in the evening and I still kind of get cold. You think I wouldn't? Because once again, you know, Texas, 100 degree summer heat. Uh, but sometimes I just want a little bit of something. So a sweater like this is honestly perfect for me year round. But look at the little, little sequiny fish bones. You guys, I truly cannot get over it. Let me see how much I saved on this because it is going to blow your mind. So the estimated retail value of this was $143. And I think that that's honestly on the low side. I feel like I remember the sequin wild fox sweatshirts being like 250 or something dollars. Anyway, they said estimated retail value $143. And I paid $20 for this absolutely beautiful relic. Uh, the next thing that I have on right now is this baby doll dress from American Apparel. I love these. And honestly, I'm kind of playing Pokemon with these because I got to catch them all. There were so many different styles of these little American Apparel baby doll dresses. Some of them were in like prints and then some of them were like this, like a velvet kind of fabric. And so I did not have this one yet. It is just black crushed velvet and now we're starting to like get out and about again um but i still like to just dress like super comfy and casual like when we go to austin and stuff for instance it's just a good dress to throw on run around i used to wear these american apparel dresses all the time as well at like disney and stuff because i feel like you know it's like more dressy than a t-shirt but still just like casual enough you know your like legs are free just put on some sophie shorts or something underneath and you're good to go. Beautiful outfit. So once again, you guys, huge savings on this. This dress had an estimated retail value of $51, which the velvet ones, I feel like I remember seeing these in the American Apparel store and they were pretty expensive back in the day. And I paid $5, $5 for this beautiful dress that will literally last forever because I, I bought some of the original American Apparel dresses. I unfortunately did not pay $5 and they're still in my closet today. I still wear them today and uh, love them. Up next, I have to talk about something so magical. I honestly cannot believe that I found this shirt. You guys, this comes from one of Dogman and I's favorite Austin landmarks and one of our favorite cafes to go to. It is called Joe's. 
It's like from a little random coffee shop in Austin. It's also technically an American Apparel shirt. I love this. I really, really cannot get over that I just like that. I mean, right? Don't you guys think that that's so random? I have to admit, I'm not huge on like the three quarter sleeve shirts. So I'm probably gonna do a little DIY on this. And by little DIY, I mean, I'm gonna just cut the sleeves off. I also love cutting the sleeves off my shirts. I don't know, you guys, swamp people. This shirt originally they say was $25 and I paid $10 for it. Another one of my favorite brands that I can't believe I'm just finding so easily on ThreadUp. They have a ton of different options. I honestly check for, it, the brand is one teaspoon. I started checking for one teaspoon items about once a week on thread up now because I'm like, oh my God, it's just, I, I cannot believe that it's here. And I cannot believe that comparatively, it is so not expensive on thread up. Um, also, this is what I'm talking about. I feel like you can get trendy items. I feel like we're starting to kind of see more of the early 2000s aesthetic, Y2K aesthetic. I feel like it's building up like more and more popularity. I feel like a couple years ago, it was more than 90s. And now it's more like, you know, early 2000s where we're seeing like the slightly longer length of shorts. And you guys, these are so comfortable. These are definitely gonna be a huge staple in my wardrobe right now. It's a little different for me to like have shorts that are like longer, but they're so comfortable. And once again, um, I just know that one teaspoon is such a high quality brand. And you guys, estimated retail value, which once again, I think they're being like a little bit not expensive. I think they're being on the generous side with price because this is a really expensive denim brand. So they had an estimated retail value of $107 and I paid 25. Huge discount there. Um, another pair of shorts that I got, you guys know I love tie dye and I actually love shorts from this brand. It's BDG, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. And I remember seeing these in store a million years ago. And I, why did I never buy them then? I don't know, but I have them now. Perfect for the summer. So they had an estimated retail uh, price of $36 and I paid $18 for them. Um, one of the other things that I got is this American Apparel tank, which I keep loving to do like a tie dye on tie dye look. Once again, American Apparel, I just love their staples. So comfortable. The colorway of this reminded me of like a can of Surge. And you know, once again, perfect for summer, perfect for light layering, very soft, very comfortable, goes with everything. And I think that this was another $5 item, $6. So estimated a retail value of $25 and I paid six dollars and i have one last thing to show you guys and i think this might be another item if i get brave enough i might like add some embellishments and spikes to this bag and honestly this was in the designer section and i feel like kind of silly because this is not like a designer brand that i'm familiar with i just loved the shape and size of this bag so the brand is all saints and just look at how cute this is though you guys I love bags like this where I can carry them like this on my arm or I can have a little hands-free um, crossbody moment. And look at this magnetic closure in the front. Very roomy. I think I might add like some spikes to the front. I think like studs and spikes are like kind of coming back in style. I honestly didn't know they ever went out of style. I feel like I just studs and spikes all the time. So I might add some because like, hey, why not? And I got such a good deal on this bag as well. Let me look it up. Uh, yes, estimated retail value, $595. So it must be like a pretty expensive brand and I got it for $154. And I just feel like this is gonna be something I'm gonna be able to carry for a long, 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 long time. That is everything in my thread up haul for this time. So once again, you guys, go ahead, click the first link in the info box down below. Use my coupon code to get 30% off your first order at thread up. My coupon code is graveyard. And I just get so excited 
every time I get a sponsorship from ThreadUp because honestly, I love talking about them. They are just a super fun place to shop. And sometimes at night, I just like to scroll on my phone, see what's new. You can even like set up alerts and reminders anytime there are new items that come in from your favorite brands so that you don't miss out. And like I said, they do sales and price drops all the time. So you can just go in and favorite items and then wait until you can get a really, really good deal. And once again, I just love the, I, you guys know I love thrifting. I've always, loved thrifting because I feel like it's just such a cool way to recycle clothing and recycle. I feel like trends like just recycle every couple of years anyway. So I feel like it's just so fun to thrift and just give old clothes a new life again. Spend some time on the website. You're going to find so many things that you love. Use my coupon code graveyard. Save 30% on your first order. Um, thank you so much to ThreadUp. And thank you guys for checking out and supporting today's video sponsor. Now, back to the video. So uh, the official style name, let's look it up. Ooh, look at that. You guys want to see all my extensions again? Look at them. Look at them! Okay, now stop looking and pretend like you never saw them. The official style name for these demonias is... Swing? Is that what that says? I can't read through my eyelashes. Swing 815. And I feel like this model of shoe has been around forever. I almost think that this style was a little bit more popular last year. I think maybe it's still, I feel like sometimes trends go so fast now that it's like, well, that was trending yesterday. I feel like this style has been around forever. Like I literally remember being in high school and seeing people wear these all the time. But honestly, it wasn't until I started seeing them a thousand times a day on TikTok that they really started appealing to me and I was influenced by them finally. So, uh, but let's look at the fake ones first because honestly, I'm very curious. So here is a fake one and it's it's bent. It's very lightweight. <gasps> oh my goodness. It, uh, visually, I think that these little, like, um, things, what, what would we call these? Like these metal bits. These feel really small. They feel like small, right? Like, I feel like when we're about to unbox the real ones, like, I think that these metal plate bits are gonna go, um, you know, pretty much the length of the entire, like, rectangular bit here. Uh, whereas here, they do not. Overall, like, just this material feels very thin, very flimsy. Now, I'm sure I could get a better shape to it if I, like, just um, stuffed it with paper versus like constantly letting it bend over like this. I can in fact get it to mostly unzip. It seems like it's kind of stuck right there, um, but maybe that will change when I try and shove my foot in it. This is the other one. We do have two. One time I ordered fish flip-flops or fish sandals from Wish and they only sent me one fish. And I was like, what am I going to do with that? So we didn't get to this time. And now I feel like I've seen people online like ordering um, shoes from Wish or AliExpress. And then they get like two left shoes, two right shoes. But it does look like we have a left shoe and a right shoe. So before I make any more comparisons, I think it would be interesting and helpful to pull out the real ones. So, um, you know, first thing is obviously like the AliExpress box just looks like this, which is a shockingly small. See why I thought this box had a belt in it? That is a really small shoe box. Here is the real box. Now this did come with a rubber band around it, keeping the box shut but I removed that. So we do have the officially branded uh, Demonia box. Flip it off. Ew. Okay, so here is an immediate difference. Now I do think that there are different finishes for this shoe as well. You could choose like patent leather or plain, like a matte um, vegan leather. And I got the patent ones. Bits here, they look metal, but they kind of feel plastic. I'm not 100% sure. 
sure. So here are the real ones, side by side. And these definitely have quite a bit more weight to them. It's gonna be interesting for me to put on like one right next to the other one to see, you know, are the heel heights the exact same? I do not know. They're definitely not going to be um, because as you guys can see, the Demonias, of course, having much higher quality, the real ones, they have not only like this foam bit that is like the heel, but they also have like, you know, a thick rubberized sole. And these have like a little bit of a sole to them that's rubberized, but not nearly as thick. So I'm sure you guys can see the real Demonias. They have a chunkier bit of foam platform heel. All the weight is pretty much feeling like it's in the platform of this shoe and they feel of much higher quality. Now I was kind of curious to see if the fake Demonias were going to be fuzzy on the bottom because I've heard that there are some shoemakers and I think that it's all like fake. I've never heard of like a real brand doing this, but I totally could be wrong where some shoemakers have part of the sole be like fuzzy, like slippers, because quite apparently like imports or exports of slippers is cheaper than like actual shoes. I could be misquoting that though, but back to the real Demonias. Um, obviously just the top portion of the shoe. Um, well, you know what? Let's take this bit out because they did, um, of course, ship it and package it better. Uh, so now that we actually have this like innered out, let's see if this sticks up on its own or if it's also gonna bend over. It's a little bit wobbly, but there is just definitely like thicker, higher composition of materials. Um, like this feels like you could maybe have the look for like a very short period of time um, to get a look that's similar, but I feel like I've had so many pairs of Demonias for many, many years and the real Demonias. I've never had a Demonia shoe like fall apart on me or anything. Although this is much more expensive, you're gonna be able to wear it for many, many years versus I swear these were around like $40 for these fake ones. And like, it just doesn't feel like something that I'd be able to get $40 worth of wear out of, if that makes sense. Like it feels like it would fall apart. So first you take it out of this protective bag and then you unwrap it from the protective paper. And then you have your magnificent boot. I really feel like I am going to wear these quite a bit. I would not ever venture to say that they would be like an everyday staple for me just because I kind of feel like they do go for like, you know, a couple of different types of looks. Like I have on this vintage Betsy Johnson dress today. Um, and I've kind of been off and on like wearing like this choker necklace. Uh, so I feel like these three things would go together without being like too loud, you know what I mean? And so I feel like that's when I would wear these shoes is maybe, you know, with like a lot of my um, basic kind of black dresses, but then, you know, add like a real eye catching punch with, um, you know, these like really embellished uh, platform shoes. So I feel like ultimately I selected the patent leather because I felt like there would be less of a chance for them to start to disintegrate over time. You guys, I feel like I can make a whole vlog about this, but I have so many pieces that I love that I would still wear, but they're like literally crumbling. Like, and I've taken care of them. Like they've always been in like air conditioning or whatever. Um, I don't feel like when I used to carry them out and about that I was like super rough with these items or anything, but they're like literally crumb. I just, I just have 
to show it to you guys. I just have to show it to you guys. Ah! Okay, uh, there might be a tea vlog about this in the future because I'm honestly looking into possibly finding somebody. I don't know who or how I could get this done, but I would love to find somebody who could like restore this bag because it's so sad you guys I have to like move my drink away from this because um so this is it's called the unif eyesore bag and I've probably had it for at least like 10 years it is like really really old unif but like I said I always like took really good care of this bag and look at it it's like it's falling apart like literally it's sitting in our closet right now and even as it's just sitting in the closet there's always a pile of this like faux leather stuff just under it and around it and it's like it is it is really gross all of the spikes I feel like are here all of the eyeballs are here and you guys even if this bag is like not trendy anymore um I would still be wearing this so much if it was not falling apart. So I feel like for whatever reason that tends to happen less with this kind of glossy patent style of faux leather much more than that kind of like matte kind of faux leather which kind of sucks because like you hate to just throw away like clothes that like I would definitely still wear if they were not falling apart. I definitely always suggest you guys like I think it's just better to buy the real product versus the fake product. I mean obviously like it just sucks when like designs get stolen. I do think that these are closer to the like 150 to 200 dollar price point so these are not cheap by any means. Um, but once you're paying like $50 for something that is not even going to last you like a fraction of the time that the real ones would, um, I would just think it would be better to um, wait and then get the real ones. Like I said, I don't feel like this is like a model of shoe that they're going to discontinue making. When I first tried to buy them, they were sold out. But I think that they like just do restocks of this all the time. And I think Demonia like also does like sales and stuff. I think I've caught them on a 30 or 40% off sale once or twice before. So once again, like if you can catch them on a sale, like you're probably getting like in the neighborhood of real versus fake price with the real not being, you know, too far off from the fake. I like, I really wanted to do this video today. Uh, so that I could uh, wear them for a TikTok. So if you guys see them on TikTok, leave me a comment let me know. Um, I realized like kind of how bizarre it is if I just ended this video and didn't tell you guys like how it was to try on each of the pairs of shoes. So I was honestly like kind of shocked by the fake AliExpress shoes. They were not as bad. I feel like side by side, like honestly, when I was like editing the footage today of the two shoes side by side, I was like, oh my God, like kind of from a distance or like if you didn't have both of them side by side, like I, I kind of feel like they're past they feel a little wobbly to walk in, which I don't know if that statement is going to make any sense, but it almost feels like the wedge of the heel is like too narrow for the heel height, like because obviously I walk in like mega heels, mega platforms all the time, and like very rarely do I fall over, but these just made me feel a little bit unsteady. Like maybe a good way to put it is that the foam was not like as dense, like I didn't feel uh, almost like, I don't know, like a baby giraffe or something. It, and it just also, it just, they, they just don't feel like they're going to last a long time, which I know that maybe that's like something silly to say, but just like the material of the fabric, if you would call it, of the fake like leather upper, um, it just feels like, it just feels like it would not last. And I don't really have too much to say about the other Demonias because I feel like at this point, like I've already filmed a couple of TikToks and stuff with them. And to me, they are super comfortable and super easy to walk in. I feel like when I first started doing shoe unboxings, I would tell you guys all the time that I can walk in any height of eel, but like wedges, I struggle more with and that's still kind of the case with these. I don't know why that is like I find like wedges more difficult to walk in than like 13 inch platform heels 
Why is that? I don't know. But these I do feel a little bit more steady on. And once again, I feel like that's because the foam is like very dense. They are a little bit heavy. So probably if you just like wore them every day for like three hours or something, would you have super strong legs? Maybe. Do you do? Have you tried this? Is there like a demonia fitness routine? that I should know about. They are a little heavy, but they do feel very, very steady. And um, once again, I just have many pairs of Demonias in my collection and I haven't had a single one like fall apart or break yet. I was honestly scared when I filmed like the unboxing part, like the zipper on one of them, like does feel like it sticks a little bit. Like I was kind of scared, like was I even gonna be able to unzip it the whole way and like get it on my foot? But luckily I was able to do that but they just, they just don't feel like super, you know, sturdy. So uh, there we go. That is my two cents. <laughs> Once again, don't forget you guys to check out today's video sponsor, which is ThreadUp. Save 30% off your first order at ThreadUp by using my code GRAVEYARD. I would love to know what you guys think. Like, could y'all immediately tell at the beginning of the video which pair was real and which pair was fake. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe! Become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so so much and I will be back again very very soon. Bye!